Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I made this mermaid inspired bedroom for my Barbie doll. Let's start with the mermaid tail blanket. I measured out two pieces of this beautiful blue fabric to fit my doll's bed and I always use my doll for a guide. And we're going to be tracing out with a pencil a mermaid tail shape. And then I'm going to be painting it with some white fabric paint. Once the white dries, I'm going over it with some light pink paint. I'm using a light purple paint for the fins. I'm using a darker pink for the scales and to outline the tail. And while the paint is still wet, I'm adding lots of glitter. You can use darker shades of the same color to add some detail and to outline the tail to really make it stand out. to be adding some sequins using hot glue to make it look like little bubbles. Now to finish off the blanket, I'm going to be sewing my fabric together. So I have the mermaid tail on the blue fabric and then I'm adding coral fabric. So I'm going to be sewing them good side to good side around and turning it inside out. And this is how it turned out. I love it so much. It looks amazing. Now we need some pillows. So I'm going to be using my little stencil here. It's six and a half by five inches. And I'm going to be tracing it onto some white fabric. I have a really detailed video of how I make pillows for my dolls. I'll leave that tutorial down in the description box. But for now we are cutting these pieces out and I'm going to sew them good side to good side leaving one side open so I can stuff the pillow and turn it inside out. I found this really cute stamp set from Laura DIY at the craft store. She is a great DIY YouTuber. And I'm going to choose the little seashell stamp to put it on our pillow. I'm putting some turquoise paint directly on the stamp. And I'm going to use like two coats so I make sure the whole stamp is covered. And I'm testing out the stamp on paper before I put it on our fabric pillow. 
And the key is to press gently but firmly on the fabric. And then release. Oh, I love how it turned out. And we'll add a little bit of glitter to make it really nice and sparkly. And I'll let this dry before stuffing the pillow and finish sewing it up. Now for our jellyfish inspired pillow, I'm using this beautiful coral fabric and I'm just using like a bottle cap to make two circles and then trace and cut it out. Now I can sew these two pieces together, stuff my pillow, and close it up. And then I am going to hot glue this tassel ribbon around our pillow. Now for our mermaid tail pillow, I'm going to be tracing a mermaid tail with some pencil onto our blue fabric. And I'm going to make two sides. And once we made the pillow, I'm going to be hot gluing these beautiful sequins around the whole front of their pillow. It makes it look so pretty and it looks like mermaid scales. This one was so much fun to make and I think it looks so, so cute. It looks like something you could find at your local store. I found this little mirror at Hobby Lobby and it's a perfect Barbie size. And then I also have all these little shells. So we're gonna make a little mermaid inspired mirror. I'm gonna be painting that little mirror with some white paint. And then we'll let that dry and we'll hot glue all of the little seashells. I also found this little jewelry box that we can use as a treasure chest. I'm just going to be painting it over with some white and some light blue paint to make it look like waves. Adding some seashells and then Barbie can store all of her goodies in here. Her shoes, her accessories, her bedding, her clothes. And this is how everything turned out. I am so, so happy with this project. I think the blanket looks amazing. 
And you can definitely do this and paint any kind of design you want, like a ballerina or any sort of little shape on there with some fabric paint. And of course, the pillows just make everything look really sparkly and make everything come together. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to try to do the same with a different theme. I would love to do like a unicorn theme or maybe a ballerina theme. Just tell me down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.